All right. Welcome, girls, to the Be The One podcast. I'm so glad y'all are here. Um, for our audience who's listening, we have two very special guests who are students in the Applied Leadership class, and they are here to talk to us. We have Mary Kenny Brew and Olivia Rains, who are both seniors. And so, girls, thank y'all for wanting to be here and for being willing <laughs> to talk about leadership, because every single podcast we talk about one of our core values. This one is entirely about one core value, so not just like one question. Um So leadership. So I'm so glad y'all are here. Thank Thank you you for having us. Yes. Okay. Well, first, y'all introduce yourselves and tell us uh, what what grade you're in and where you're going to school next year and all kind. Well, that kind of gave away what grade you're in, but um, (laughs) (laughs) but introduce yourselves. Um, My name's Olivia Rains. I'm in 12th grade and I'm going to the University of Alabama next year. Woohoo! My name's Mary Kennybrew. I'm in 12th grade and I'm going to the University of Georgia next year. Yay! Go dogs! (laughs) Not that we don't love Alabama. All right, so you guys are in the applied leadership class. Yes, ma'am. Miss Blackman is your teacher. Mm-hmm. All right, so how many kids are in that class this year? Five. Five. Yes. It's, that is just one of my favorite things. Mm-hmm. I don't know if she told you, I taught that class for one semester when she was teaching something else, and we had um, we had about maybe six or seven girls, mm-hmm. and it was all girls. It's so then, ours. Really? Yes, ma'am. I mean, I just think it's really fun, really special. So, it so y'all fun. obviously love that class. Yes, it's <laughs> really fun. I actually really enjoy it. Yeah. Well, good. Well, tell me a little bit about it. That's tell me what y'all do and some of the things. Um, so going on. we've done a lot where like we learn what kind of leader we are mm-hmm. and then also like what leaders we work best with and just mm-hmm. how to be a leader, how to be a leader. We've had a there couple of guest speakers. We've gone and done some service projects. We helped Miss Blackman with the service projects at Brookston and stuff like that. Awesome. Okay. Where, tell me some of the speakers who's coming to speak to y'all. Um, so we've had Carrie Beth Wallace. Oh, love her. Um, Courtney Wilson. Love her, too. Um, Betsy, Betsy Covington. I love her. I mean, that yes, awesome one. guests. Yes, ma'am. That's so fun. And so they come, and um, and they all have ties to Brookstone, mm-hmm. obviously. Yes, um, and that's really special that you guys get to hear kind of what they do. I assume that's what mm-hmm. they're coming to yep. speak about. Yes, ma'am. And, ha- and how leadership is applied in their lives. That's really cool. Yes, Miss Wilson talked a lot about, like, different types of leaders. Mm-hmm. And then... Um, Miss Covington talked about the foundation that she has and how, like, if you want to donate your, like, if you want to donate something and you don't know Mm -hmm. what to donate it to or where to donate it to, you can just give it to them and they'll find somewhere for it to be useful. Yeah, because she works with the community foundation, Mm -hmm. right? Yes, Mm -hmm. Mm ma'am. And then, like, Carrie Beth Wallace did um, the Columbus site. Mm -hmm. And that's mainly focuses on, like, theater and you can Mm -hmm. just see Mm -hmm. all the different things that has... Yes. Columbus has going on. We have a lot going on. Yes, we do. We, we do. really do. And More all, than I thought. I, I know. <laughs> for real. There's a lot. And I think you girls will find when y'all go off to school and when you grow up, um, grow older, you will co- you will realize everything that the Columbus area has to offer. Yes, that, ma'am. Like, you love it while you're here, mm-hmm. but I know y'all are so excited to go away and see <laughs> new things and do new things, but, but our hope is that one day you'll be like, oh, I definitely want to go back. Because and to make the place better, that's yep. what our yes, hope ma'am. is that our alumni move away, learn all this awesome stuff, and then come back to make Columbus better. So, and I think those women are perfect examples mm-hmm. of people who they are pouring into this community to make it better. Um, so, tell me about some of the places y'all visited. So, we went to Winton Neighborhood Network, okay, um, and talked Seals. to Mary Lou Gerald there. I love her. Yeah, she was very she was very nice. We went to Easter mm-hmm. Seals. Mm-hmm. That one was really fun. We got to yeah. talk to a lot of the people there. And um, there Damascus was one lady way, that was yeah. there, and she was really excited to go <laughs> ice skating, and it was the sweetest thing ever. Oh, she was really. Excited. She like showed us all around and all her friends and everything. Oh, that's so fun. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's awesome. And then yeah, we went to Damascus Way mm-hmm. and brought them some goodie bags, mm-hmm. which was nice. That's awesome. Just seeing everything, learning about how it all works is mm-hmm. really interesting. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay, so going back to even kind of talking about the Community Foundation, philanthropy, tell me about philanthropy. What have you learned about philanthropy in this class? So it's time, treasure, and talent. Oh, I love that. I love that so much. Yes. Um, And so we've learned a lot of, like, philanthropists in our community and, Mm -hmm. like, not in our community, like Mm -hmm. Bill Gates and Henry Ford were Mm -hmm. both big philanthropists and we mm-hmm. did projects on them we've done yeah i did mine on tiger woods i think oh, yeah. i did mine on bill gates yeah i didn't realize how much oh, tiger woods awesome. did but he has yeah. like a lot of like foundations mm-hmm. and stuff that he does a lot that's really cool all right so time treasure and talent spell that out for me explain a little bit more about what that actually means 
So time is like service mm -hmm. and just like serving the community. Mm -hmm. Talent is just like the talent you put it into like what you're doing, like mm -hmm. whatever like talent you have, like using that right. to help others. Right. And treasures money. Yeah. There you go. All right. Well, and you know, that can look different for different people, but um mm -hmm. but what an awesome principle to really to live your life by. Mm -hmm. Um and you know, I I think you all will see this too as you as you continue to grow and move into this world. Columbus is a really philanthropic community. Mm -hmm. I mean, it really is. And it's unique, I think, compared to some other cities its size, the people who want to invest their time, treasure, and talent into this place. Um, so I'm glad y'all are getting a first uh, first row seat at some of the people that are making it it's, happen. Yeah. We talked about Bill Turner a lot yeah. in our yes. class. Oh, yeah. He's amazing. Oh, he's, he's amazing. Yes, I know. Sir. His legacy is mm -hmm. just continues to live on. So... That's really exciting. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so some of the nitty gritty, like seven habits yes. of leadership. I know y'all been studying all these things, yes, but these lot. are really, I mean, these are really great principles mm -hmm. to bring into your life. So tell me about that. It's like be proactive. Mm -hmm. Begin with the end in mind. Um, sharpen the saw. Synergize. Um, uh, understand and then be understood. Like you seek need to understand. Seek first, yeah. And then there's, I think that's, how many was that? Think win-win. Yeah, we said put, put first things first. All right, so to, so flesh those out for me. Explain a little bit okay, about sharpen each one. the saw mm -hmm. is one that, because I, like, took me a while to understand it. Like, <laughs> yeah. I just kept getting confused. But it's, like, <laughs> you need to, like, go sharpen your st saw and then, like, come back and help. and But then, like, keep going back and forth. Like, you don't need to just, like you don't have to do it all at once. Mm -hmm. Like you like keep mm -hmm. getting smarter, keep learning about things to be able to help out. So it's like keep sharpening your saw and then the tree, like you will be able to cut it down. Okay, as you sharpen there you it. go. Mm -hmm. um, so begin with the end in mind mm -hmm. is thinking like ahead and not just doing everything like right away. You're thinking right. before you act. I mean, if, if we all did that every time, <laughs> I mean, what a great principle. <laughs> and then like be proactive, like, I know there's, like, a lot of people that, like, think about doing something, but just, like, go ahead and just, like, even the servant leadership stuff after school, mm -hmm. just, like, making goodie bags. Like, just start there. Start simple mm -hmm. and just get involved. Mm -hmm. I think it's Love a big, that. important one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Synergize. Um, we took a test on synergize. <laughs> yeah, so that's a big word. So what does that mean? I know we're both grapes. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. So explain that. <laughs> Um, so it's basically like I'm pretty sure like how you are as a person like you use that like your personality mm -hmm. yes and. yes okay. like your personality you use that and like how kind of what type of leader you are mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so like the two other people in our class or two of them are oranges I think so and then Miss Blackman's a grape <laughs> okay so, so what does a grape mean <laughs> so grape was like more outgoing okay and like more. Like they like talking to people mm -hmm. and like doing group projects, group projects, okay. stuff like okay. that. Okay. So when you understand that about yourself, it makes you a better leader mm -hmm. because you know how you operate and you know where your skills are. Because like it's hard mm -hmm. to like lead others when right. you're not sure, right? What type? Which I thought was interesting. Like mm -hmm. when we first started doing like tests about ourselves, mm -hmm. I was kind of confused, but it just right. makes so much more sense. Like the more really you does. talk yeah. about the different mm -hmm. types of leaders. Yeah. It, it gives you insight into like what brings you joy and what you really can thrive in yes. and, um, and how I just think it's a great thing that y'all do. And I'm sure that y'all wish when you're doing some of these tests that you're like, I wish everybody in the whole school could, yeah, could go through this. I really do think mm -hmm. it would be good. Uh huh. I know we should. <laughs> Um, okay, so what about the exemplary, the five exemplary exemplary practices of leadership that y'all talked about? Courage the heart, mm -hmm. model the way, and then there's inspire a shared vision, challenge the process, enable others to act. Was a five, right? Okay. Enables others to act. All right. Well, again, y'all discuss that a little. Each one of those. So we each did. Since there's five of us in uh -huh. the class, we each like had one and oh, presented great. on it. Oh, that's fun. Mm -hmm. So I had challenge the process. And it's, like, to think a different way and not just, like, go with the grain. Yes. Mm hmm I love that. I did encourage the heart. Mm -hmm. And we also, like, talked about, like, different people that 
we think that do that and like mm -hmm. how we can be more like them but mm -hmm. curse the heart is just kind of encourage others to mm -hmm. want to be able to serve and like do things that make you like feel good like you feel like right. you're really helping out right I love and that I think that's a good one because mm -hmm. when you do like help others out like you should feel good mm -hmm Oh, yeah. I think that's mm -hmm. just absolutely true. The more you give. Like, the um, better you feel. Yeah, yes, exactly. The better you feel. And so. model the way is, like, Grayson had that? I think so. And it was just, like, a leader. Just mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's one thing to say things, but mm -hmm. you have to lead with your actions, too. Mm -hmm, so. For sure. All right, what, what were the other two? Um, Challenge the process. And enable others to act. Yes. So enable others to act. Mm -hmm. It's just, like opportunities for others mm -hmm. to do things mm -hmm. it's kind of like how miss blackman has so many service opportunities after right. school right. like she's helping us like be able to be involved and giving us so many opportunities mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. she does a great job she, she does, she does. Mm -hmm. and inspiring a shared vision is like teamwork and thinking through things more than just like by yourself right mm -hmm. right and I think that is a really good skill set to have is just to, to create a shared vision and to work together as a team and to be able to implement it. Mm -hmm. I mean, if y'all can take that skill set and move from here with that, that will serve you well for I sure. Um, okay, so I always like to ask people their favorite books that they've read or a book that has had a really big impact on your life. Um, so, and I, I know y'all have to read all kinds of things for school, but it, it can be any book. It doesn't matter. But do y'all have a book that has had a big impact on y'all? Mine would probably probably be Wonder. Oh, yeah. I, I think the first book. time I read it was in second grade mm -hmm. with Miss Barry, now Miss Warner. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, just something about it. Just, I guess when you're that little, like you always hear about being nice to others, but mm -hmm. just the situation that was in Wonder, like mm -hmm. you should really have to, doesn't matter what's on the outside, not right. just on the inside. Right. I think it's just very like important, good yeah. to like learn as you grow up, like right. bring it with you. Agree. I like Just Mercy. Oh man, I love that. We've read too. it a few times. Mm -hmm. We read it in middle school and then mm -hmm. like went to the movie. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and then we read it again last year. Mm -hmm. And it was like opened yeah. your eyes. Yeah, that is a pretty profound book yeah, for it's sure. Very impactful. I feel mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. definitely leaves a lasting right like impression. Okay, so advice. What is the best piece of advice someone has given you? Because I know people are pouring into you girls all the time. And that is one of the things I love about Brookstone most is that there's so many amazing people here um, mm -hmm. wanting to invest in y'all. But what is some of the best advice y'all been given? Probably be like the friend that you would want. Oh, yes. Good one. Good one. That one's never going to let you down. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, mine would probably be live in the moment because mm -hmm. I've gotten told that my whole life. But yeah. now that I'm a senior, I'm like, I really, I know. really got to live in the moment. I know. Okay. Well, that's a perfect segue into the next question, because now that y'all are seniors, mm -hmm. if you could go back and tell your freshman self something or tell, you know, your younger self something um, or tell a freshman here something, what would it be that you would want them to know or that you would want to mm -hmm. go back and tell yourself? Probably don't procrastinate. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, I need it. <laughs> I would just say be friends with everyone. Like, make mm -hmm. as many friends as you can. Like, Brookstone's such a good, like, it's like a small school, but you just, it really is like a family. Like, mm -hmm. I know that's, everyone says that, yeah. but just be friends with everyone because yeah. there are, like, some people that I'm friends with now that freshman year, I'd probably be like, I don't think I'd, like, ever be friends with them. So right. And get involved. Yes. With everything. Yes. Like go to the sports, go mm -hmm. everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, so a couple of other things that I'm thinking about um, as y'all are talking. What are some of your favorite Brookstone traditions? Letter People Show. <laughs> That's got to be my favorite. Like I love watching it now. I found some videos of our grade doing it. It's just so precious. I oh, my goodness. It. it seems like yesterday. Mm -hmm. Fifth grade lock-in was fun. Oh, my yeah. goodness. That is so fun. I don't even know if they do that anymore. I think they went on, like, a field trip. They, they did. Like, they, like, uh, overnight like on camp. A, uh, just last week, actually, mm -hmm. they go to an overnight camp. So, you know, it's kind of evolved a little bit. Like, senior year, uh -huh. which is the girls. Oh, yeah. How was that? that it was, was really fun. fun. It was very, like, a good bonding moment, mm -hmm. too. Yeah. I yeah. enjoyed it. And then, y'all, now we're here at the almost the end of your school yeah, year. Like, yeah. how fast does it go? It's crazy. It's just crazy. Um, what letter were you? I was letter G. People? Me you and Taff Middleton were both G. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> so, but even, like, also another 
thing that I like that Brookston does is like mm-hmm. the senior buddies. Like mm-hmm. it's just really fun. Like I have a 3K class and mm-hmm. they're all so cute and oh, it's just so fun to be with all you. of them. I have first grade. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, they they love you guys. I know. I know like I mean, they do. Like the third grade. Like there's some. There's a big group of guys that I think has a third grade class and mm-hmm. anytime they walk by them they're all it's yelling so their names it's so cute <laughs> I love them oh yeah so y'all y'all are going to take some really fun memories with y'all when you leave so. next year um so but you've got a big few weeks ahead what are y'all looking forward to uh, we have Universal this Friday, so we have oh, Field really? Day oh, and God. then right after Field Day we go to Universal and we get back at like 10 a.m. on Saturday? We leave the park at 2 a.m. Oh, my yeah. Word. It's going to be so fun. So exhausting, but so fun. <laughs> and a lot of time in the at bus. Yeah. <laughs> at first, it was just, like, one bus, but it filled up so fast that they were like, we're, we need to get more people. Like, we need to get another bus so everyone can come. So I think our whole grade is going. I think there's only, like, 10 not oh, out of wow. 80. Wow. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. Oh, y'all are going to have so much fun. I'm really excited. So much fun. All right. Well, so before I let y'all go, what is what is one thing you're taking from this applied leadership class that you know you will hold on to? Probably one thing is like be proactive just mm-hmm. because like I know like I always be like, oh, like I want to help. I just don't know how. But like you just need to like throw yourself out there. Mm-hmm. And that's mm-hmm. one thing for sure. Good. Mm-hmm. Um, probably like to know how many like different ways people learn and lead mm-hmm. and that you need to. Be aware of that. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of different styles yeah. for sure. Um, well, y'all, this has been so much fun. I thank, thank y'all for you. visiting with me. Y'all have thank done a fantastic job. I have no <laughs> doubt that you are just going to lead in whatever areas you find yourself. Um, you. What are y'all thinking about studying before I let y'all go? Because I love that question too. Right now, my major is sports management. There you go. I know I want to do something with sports. I don't know if I want to do sports medicine or what. Uh-huh. But. That's right awesome. now, mine is early childhood education. Oh, I love it. We but need more switch. teachers. You might switch, but that's okay. <laughs> that is one thing you have to know with certainty. You can switch. You mm-hmm. can change your mm-hmm. mind, and there is that is more than okay. Um, because what I have found is you will leave here with all these um, skills, and they will be applicable to so many different areas. And so you just have to find what, what you love and what you're passionate about. But... Um, Obviously, you're passionate about leadership, so y'all are just gonna y'all are gonna lead the way. It's but um, but really, this has been fun. So thank y'all for coming and visiting.